we are live sir good afternoon everyone i am very very happy to share the screen with uh, dr nesargi rawal uh, dr nesargi rawal is a student from government medical college badoda and whenever i hear government medical Co college badoda the first thing that came to my mind is my dear friend and a student dr ashraf who has scored rank 1 in his time and now we have another single digit rank holder from badoda medical college she has completed her internship she is from 2018 batch um, a throughout university topper um, from her medical college so i i assume that she was also expecting a great rank from the um, from the preparation that she has done but expecting and getting a rank are different ball ball game altogether seeing a single digit rank in front of your name is always a very very big dream and uh, i can i can feel that the i can relate to the happiness that she must have gone heartiest congratulation doc sir thank you so much sir so um, dr nesargi tell me what was the first reaction when you saw and specifically when this kind of paper you really do not know when the paper is going to happen every time it is getting delayed and finally it has happened the result has come what was your first reaction when you saw single digit rank 4 in front of your name uh, sir so my brother uh, saw my result firstly and uh, he told that uh, it is rank 4 and uh, before i could react to my results my parents were so much excited and so much happy that seeing seeing the single digit rank itself uh, and uh, pa my parents reaction were equally uh, important and my parents reaction were more satisfying to me than the than this rank so i am so much grateful so were you able to believe i, I mean you are a throughout topper but were you still able to believe uh, or or because nowadays there were a lot of confusion the people were happening uh, the application id number was different the roll number was different and there was a previous roll number that a lot of student were getting confused so did you did you come across this challenge uh, sir actually it happens to me also uh, i told my brother the application id so uh, application id ke baju mein there was a roll number so uh, by mistake i had opened the last uh, postponed uh, neat admit card so it was different so i was like what happened <laughs> then i re uh, then i checked the date of examination and i uh, switched to the real admit card and it was my roll number so yeah i believed in that and uh, more than more than me uh, my brother and my parents were expecting this rank and yeah um it's it's your hard work i don't want to take the credit from you in any form but there are always few people in your life when you get the things that you were looking for um is there any specific people to whom you want to give the credit of your success to uh, sir first of all i am thankful to god mahadev ji for everything that i have and i have achieved uh i'm th i'm so much thankful to my parents for being so supportive throughout and so motivating and uh and my brother who has been my mentor and my role model and to me my brother is like a god so i'm thankful to them and uh, we i uh, i can say that uh, my parents and my brother has not just made my path easier they have walked with me to reach this destination so this achievement is uh, as much as there as much uh, there as it is of mine so uh, i am so much happy and uh, i am i'm definitely sure that my grandmother who uh, we lost her last year but she would be more than happier seeing my result and she would be uh, definitely blessing me from heaven and i am also thankful to uh, the bmc uh, baroda medical college and the environment that it carries the seniors residents my friends uh, and my juniors uh, they have been so much supportive and so much uh, they have so much faith in myself that uh, i can achieve what i what i am meant to so i am thankful to them so meet this interview is not for the bmc <laughs> this interview is for you and um, you have been a student of dbmci and um, just for the viewers uh, um, uh, dr rawal has uh, an elder brother dr meet rawal who has been a dbmci student and currently pursuing 
DM Neurology from Nimhans after completing his MD Medicine. And he has been the major guiding force for uh, Dr. Raval so that she can reach to the dream that uh, she was looking for. So Meet, this is for, this is for you. Um, so um, now the biggest aspect in the preparation is guidance. You had mm -hmm. a person in your house and you, I, I, I assume that since he is doing neurology, so you must be having a difference that I have seen a lot of, lot of family have that one person is preparing for PG entrance, the other is preparing for MBBS entrance. So I'm sure that you are also into that category. So by the time your brother entered into PG, you have entered into MBBS. So tell me something about your journey. And as you mentioned that you were a university topper. So how it happened, how you became focused, how you started your preparation and, and let's, let's start it from there. Uh, so, sir, when I entered medical school, my brother was doing internship. So, I have seen him studying and excelling in, in his academics. So, uh, in the in my 12th vacation, I have always seen uh, seen him doing studying. And I am always curious that I, when will I study this subject, this 19 subject. So, uh, as soon as I entered medical school, and uh, as you mentioned, my brother was also a regular student of TBMCI. So, uh, as I entered medical uh, medical school, the first three subjects that we encounter is the NIT, uh, NIT uh, Physio and Biogen. So uh, NIT is obviously has been the nightmare for the medical students, but it is no more true for uh, when Ashwini sir came into picture. So I really appreciate the way Ashwini sir teaches the anatomy and I can still remember on the first day when uh, first day of my med school, the types of joints were uh, explained. So after coming home, I tell my brother, this was taught to me in the NIT lecture. So my brother uh, told me just to uh, read from Ashwini sir's notes and uh, just go through that video. So I was like, yeah, uh, they hai. So uh, it was uh, really amazed me the way Ashwini sir teaches and I made, I started making notes of uh, uh, his lectures and from the start of first year, uh, the notes which I have made, I have followed it till my last week of uh, entrance. So they have been true for, uh, they have been the gold standard and the true for the for throughout my MBBS. So I would say probably the oldest notes that I have is of anatomy from this day one of my med school. Yeah. So, Dr. Nesargi, I want to mention here, yesterday I got a call from um, a, a student's mother. She is a renowned doctor in Delhi and she's a gynecologist. And she told me that she refers to Dr. Ashwini notes even as a gynecologist also. So, I mean, that is how uh, he is a magician. The way that he simplifies the anatomy is, uh, is out of the world. And uh, yeah. there is doubt about it. Um, yes, continue. Uh, yes, sir. So, I made Ashwini sir's notes. And uh, in our dissection also, it was uh, it was very easy for me to find sciatic nerve. Because I know that the sciatic nerve is... Thematic as a hota. So I always uh, make sure that I will uh, re uh, I will watch Ashwini sir's video before my uh, pro professor teach me in the in medical school. So it was a very good experience uh, learning anatomy from Ashwini sir. Uh, and uh, even I have watched a recent one shot video that sir has made and it was again gold standard. You uh, you can watch like a series or a movie and you can never get tired uh, by reading, uh, by watching Ashwini sir's video. So uh, it was really good. And after that, uh, the another faculty which, uh, so yeah, uh, in first year, so major chunk, obviously everyone would agree will uh, uh, is uh, uh, done by anatomy itself. Physio, we have learned from 12th standard, uh, we had idea, some, some idea. So anatomy, uh, because of anatomy, I got a very good decent rank in my uh, university examination as well. And uh, the- What is the meaning I, of decent for you? First rank. <laughs> <laughs> decent. She listened to the viewers, and she's just saying, and she's trying to be modest and decent rank. Well, can you expect a better rank than that? <laughs> uh, so I dedicate yeah uh, completely my notes were really uh, Annette notes I just print print the Annette notes that sir has for example popliteal fossa was asked so whatever sir has uh, drawn into that uh, 
my notes i just replicated that in my uh, answer sheet and uh, it was really very useful for me uh, to uh, conquer anatomy so anatomy is no more fear to me uh, right now dr nasir ji you mentioned one thing when we were talking that you completed medicine in second year or you <laughs> you attended dr thameem's class in second year tell me the reason behind it because people are scared of doing medicine in third year also and you did it in second year why you did it how you did it who motivated you to do it in second year uh, sir so uh, motivation obviously comes from my brother so uh, he was a fan of uh, thameem sir teaching he is a fan of thameem sir teaching and uh, so uh, as as i entered in my second year it was a covid year so after completing my second year subjects uh, i had a free time after, and i mean i never compromised on reading textbooks so i completed uh, thoroughly second year and then also i had some time so and i am always inclined more towards medicine and my clinics uh, before covid we had a very good uh, ward posting at our bmc of medicine so that was always had some uh, importance of medicine in my mind so i thought that whenever i will get a free time as as early as i get a free time i will read medicine thoroughly so uh, i started reading uh, thameem sir's lectures and i started with cit i remember and after that i completed cardio so many of the systems i did in the second year itself and uh, i would say it was it was not a different thing it's just a uh, exploration of uh, uh, pathology that we study in second year and pharmacology so it is very easy to do medicine like system wise in uh, second year itself and uh, from my third year we had a uh, again we had a medicine posting so at that time i completed rest of the systems and that's how my medicine so, got completed dr nasargi i just want to say that you were a very very sincere and a very very disciplined and the hard working student um it's very very difficult for most of the people to maintain such schedule but if anybody is able to do that in the mbbs i can bet on this that they will be moving towards a single digit rank without a doubt um uh, i want to mention and ask you something um uh, you have read textbooks very very well you have utilized your resources very very well but i am a very very strong believer that knowledge enhancement is one aspect knowledge testing is another aspect writing test repeatedly identifying that where you go wrong um mm-hmm. working on them is also an important aspect uh how did you utilize the test you uh, wrote gclt uh, mm-hmm. what do you think is the importance of writing the test in students preparation how easy it is to maintain the preparation during the internship now those are the questions that i have for you uh, sir so firstly gt uh, one should uh... give gt as as early as possible so gt is because at the end of this mbbs journey what you are going to write is an mcq exam so uh, irrespective of uh, as many as theory you read at the end you are writing an mcq exam you should know the art of converting the theory into the mcq applied aspect so uh, the earlier you start better it gets uh gt aspect is the one thing and the gclt that the computer based exam that uh, pbmci con- conducts that uh, that is very important because you are in in the exam stimulated environment you uh, you uh, many students face the issue that they reach the examination sh- center and they are in front of computer screen they are get panic or uh, they are anxious uh, and sh- they become anxious so these are these things are nullified if you are giving a an computer based based exam uh, and gclt was really good and i got a 10th rank and it is a good exam to give and test your uh, preparation and where you stand among your competitors um, another thing is um, the benefit of gclt is that um, you uh, you get the uh, questions that is very similar to the neat pg examination so it uh, neat pg examination is fond of asking certain questions and certain type of topics so gclt is meant in a way that it it uh, if you are thorough with the gclt questions you are already uh, halfway done to your previous year topics 
so it is uh, i found gclt very useful and uh, yeah and about consistency in uh, internship it i agree that uh, in bmc we had moderate to heavy kind of internship uh, and it's just uh, modifying your uh, modifying your schedule according to your duties uh, like for example when you are having the uh, busy duties or a heavy clinical major postings you can have a minor topics minor uh, minor subjects or you can do if you are having the 24 hours duty or the 12 hours duty uh, what you can do is just a question bank or just you can review your gt at that time but uh, you know uh, you ju you just need to work hard consistently you you uh, you need to put 2 to 3 hours or 3 to 4 hours cons uh, consistently irrespective of what happens uh, even I remember if I have the early morning duty, I used to wake up even earlier than, than my duty hours and just go through, uh, just read for two to three hours so that I, I can enjoy my inter internship duty as well. And uh, at the same time, I am not compromising on my studies. And internship is a crucial step. So uh, one may not uh, miss this internship and thoroughly enjoy internship because internship is the last time when you can uh, explore on every branch of your and you can decide what what branch is your of your choice so uh, internship uh, but do not compromise on your studies as well so uh, just prioritize your goal prioritize your schedule and just go through that uh, yeah very very aptly said and uh, uh, i believe specifically for the students who are pursuing the internship uh, you can crack the exam in the, with the internship. Even if it's a heavy internship, you can still do that. You have an example mm -hmm. in front of you. I was also able to do it when I was doing my exam. And ma'am, see, the internship is also moderate to heavy. It's not a light internship. Uh, but yes, setting your priorities right, putting it into the perspective during the heavy days, uh, do the subject in which you are more strong, doing the subject on the lighter posting in which you have more difficulties back it up and what she rightly said is uh, how your knowledge has to be converted to solve an mcq is the biggest key how you can do that um, what have you learned at the time among the four choices are you getting confused or are you able to put up the right answer is ultimately the one that is gonna bring you to the center stage that we all are aiming for. Uh, a big congratulations, uh, Dr. Nisargi. And may you keep on following the footstep of your brother the same way. If you want to do the DM in the same branch or in the different branch, you should be able to do that. On behalf of entire DBMCI family, we are very, very happy on your achievement. And we are also happy to see that we have played some part in your success. The definitely. credit definitely goes to you and in your case, I will also say to your brother and to your family, but I'm happy to see that we were able to play some part in your success. Wish you a uh, best of the luck in all the endeavors that you do in the future. May Thank God you, bless sir. you always. Thank you, sir. Thanks to entire Bhatia family. Thank you.